Hello my dear colleagues and welcome back. We spoke in the last lecture about the types of statistical analysis and the basics and we are continuing with this lecture on a live demo on SBSS. Uh, if I consider this lecture is complementary, I consider the previous lecture is essential. It's quite enough to know the types of statistical analysis and the indication of each test. If you see how the statistical analysis is, is being done on SBSS, I think it will give you in-depth understanding of statistical analysis. Just see me now and you will see how easy it is. Okay, uh, we started in uh, univariate analysis and we said it is, is synonymous to descriptive analysis. And we said univariate, it's one variable as we explained, it could be nominal, ordinal and numeric. Okay. Uh, let's start on this uh, live demo on basic statistical analysis on SBSS and I uh, just I brought to you a very simple SBSS data sheet that includes just assembled just assembled uh, from each uh, variable okay before starting uh, just I wanted to go to this article we um, published this articles a few years ago just I'm going to stop here I think now you are um, familiar with uh, this uh, paragraph okay of the statistical of uh, statistical analysis so frequencies and percentage were used for nominal and categorical variables the mean plus or minus standard deviation was used for normal distributed data otherwise the median and range were used i think now you are familiar and uh, will understood the just two uh, sentences with the time you are going to understand all of those okay See here, just here, we wrote the mean age of the study population was 59 uh, plus or minus 11 years. This is kind of normally distributed data. This is just example of uh, normally distributed data. And we, if we go down to the table, just going to the stage, we we'll see here, this is kind of ordinal data, ordinal variable. So how we calculated those results? If we return back to the SBSS data sheet, just to go to, uh, yeah, from start, analyze uh, frequencies, just choose a tumor stage no need for charts here we don't use charts unless you have a presentation but in writing we don't use charts just click ok and as you see here this is the frequency okay the number and there is the percentage if there is no missing data so the percentage will be equal to the valid percentage okay so we use the valid percentage if we have missing data look to this number exactly here yeah you can see them on the uh, the published data so uh, t0 only 3 1 percent t1 ta carcinoma and 196 uh, 64 as you see here the same information exactly 14 percent to uh, t2 uh, 20 percent 20 percent uh, t3 the same information and certainly you can analyze more than one nominal okay or nominal multiple nominal and ordinals on the same time so i can okay i can analyze the gender and the tumor stage on the same time so do not analyze one by one so all nominal and the categorical or ordinal variables can be analyzed on one step just click ok here so the gender will be the same will be analyzed by the same so we have 88 for example percent so here it is the value of the percentage so simply we write okay the study population included 269 men 88 uh, percent for example no need to speak about female because it's understood okay so here is we finished now uh, from the uh, nominal one nominal and one categorical uh, moving now to uh, numeric as you see here uh, the mean age 59 plus or minus 11 years so how we analyzed just to go to the SBSS data sheet again we will go to analyze descriptive uh, descriptive also okay here descriptives and just to choose age and just click ok very, here is a very simple uh, analysis okay the, so you will get from here the mean which is 59 and standard deviation is 11 if we go back to the uh, the published articles 59 plus or minus 11 so the same so uh, here is how we calculate the analysis on SBSS and I think those basic analysis you can do uh, by yourself if I return back just to, to here to descriptives, I will uh, put the age and curiatinine together. Just click OK and you see here. 
Here is a, a good example of uh, numeric data normally and non normal distributed data and I think it's quite easy to differentiate between them. Just uh, uh, have a look on the mean and the standard deviation as I explained before. So uh, the standard deviation has to be less than one third of the mean. Here is a, the mean is 60 and the standard deviation is 11 so it is I can say certainly the age is normally distributed data and you look here to the creatinine the other variable look to the mean is 2.2 and the standard deviation is 1.9 it's quite like equal to the mean so it's not a normal distributed data so in writing that's enough to say the mean age is 59 plus or minus 11 that's understood completely understood that's quite enough however it's completely wrong to say the mean the mean creatinine is 2.2 and standard deviation 1.9 so the next step or the uh, non-normal distributed data so you have to bring the median and the range simply you can go to explore explore so i'm just i'm going to put them together age and creatinine okay so there is a lot of information i i don't want to uh, overwhelm you in in this kind of uh, of uh, because this is just for uh, beginners just uh, go to the you look here the age more information about the age the again mean median so here the median is 59 and the median is 60 close yeah very close to each other however look here to the mean is 2.2 and the median is 1.4 so they are non-normal distributed data and such non-normal distributed data express them with median and range so right the median creatinine was yeah 1.4 open parentheses 0.4 9.6 this is the the range okay uh just a quick look here is the age okay and here is the creatinine non-normal distributed data there is a lot of extreme uh variables okay i will not explain a lot of those i can leave them to the next stage to sum up uh, the basic analysis on SPSS is quite easy uh, that include descriptive analysis for nominal okay nominal like gender and yes and the ordinal like tumor stage and the numeric uh, normal distributed data like age and uh, and just i brought this one for demonstration as non-normal distributed data just from analyze you can analyze here frequencies and descriptive and if you want more information about numeric data you can explore them okay